iOS 16.4 is turning out to be an amazing update. I'm playing music right now on my iPhone, but if I want to change my playback destination and play on my Mac, I don't have to actually go to the control center and change from there. All I have to do is ask Siri to do that. Mac. And just like that, it's done. And you can see right now I'm playing music on my MacBook. That's how easy you can do that with iOS 16.4. So I will show you guys in this video this trick and another nine tricks which are new on iOS 16.4 and you need to actually use them because they will make your life way easier. Now this one right here is a shortcut action that will allow you to change the destination of your playback. Now this was before on iOS 16 but now you can use that with Siri as well. You could actually create this shortcut previously but you could not use that with Siri. So now you can use that with Siri so you don't have to run the shortcut at all. All you have to do is just say the name of the shortcut and Siri will run that for you. In this case, I have created this shortcut to change the playback destination and change it to my Mac and I have named the shortcut Mac. You can do the same for any of your devices and I suggest you name the shortcut by the name of the device we want to play. And then all you have to do is just ask Siri, just basically launch Siri and just say the name of the device and it will start playing right away on that device. Now we're still staying here on the shortcuts app because Apple has made a huge work with iOS 16.4 on the shortcuts app and we have some really, really useful actions that have been added. Like let's say you go somewhere or maybe you go to your work or any place that you frequently visit that has basically a Wi-Fi network that you might not want to use without a VPN. Well, with iOS 16.4, you can set a VPN to be turned on automatically when you connect to a certain Wi-Fi network. And here's how you do it. First of all, go ahead and go to the shortcuts app and tap the plus button right here on add action, search for set VPN. So here we have set VPN, tap on it, and then go ahead and tap on VPN. And of course you select the VPN from the VPNs that you have on your device and then tap on done right there. Now to actually enable this for any Wi-Fi network that you want, you simply go to the automations, tap on create a personal automation and then find here Wi-Fi and then go ahead and choose the network from here. Once you choose a network from the list of the networks that you have previously connected on, you can go ahead and tap on next and then here search for run shortcut. So when you find run shortcut, you tap on it and choose here the VPN set VPN shortcut, tap on next, tap on done and you're good to go. Now automatically, whenever you connect to that Wi-Fi network, your device will connect to your VPN. With iOS 16.2, Apple changed the way AirDrop works on your device. You can no longer keep AirDrop on all the time. It will stay on for everyone for just like 10 minutes and then it will switch to contacts only. So whenever you wanna enable it for everyone, you will have to do it again from the control center. Well, with iOS 16.4, we have a shortcut action for that as well. And you can make it very easy for you to turn on AirDrop for everyone. So here's what you need to do. Head on to shortcuts here and just go ahead and tap the plus button and search for a set AirDrop. So here we have set AirDrop receiving, tap on it and of course select here everyone for 10 minutes and tap on the dumb button and you're good to go. Now what you can do is head on to your settings and go under accessibility and go to touch and go to back tap right here. Go ahead and select here on double tap or triple tap this shortcut that you just created to set airdrop receiving and then you can enable it pretty easily in a matter of seconds. So as you can see right here, we have airdrop receiving off. I can just double tap right there on the back. You can see it's now on for everyone. That's how easy you can turn on airdrop for everyone with iOS 16.4. And now let's talk about one of the biggest features of iOS 16.4, which is web notifications. So notifications for web apps on iOS. Well, this is how you can set them up and this is how you make them work on your iOS device. So first of all, the web app that you use, you go ahead and add it to your home screen, of course. Let's just go ahead and add this one. Now, this is a website that will send you test notifications so we can test the notifications and how they actually work with iOS 16.4. So once you have added 
the web app to your home screen and you open it, it will ask you to send you notifications. So right here, if we just start testing a notification, you can see it will pop up like this, basically just like a normal app. Now what you need to do here is of course, allow the notifications. And now you can see when we test it right there, we have the notification, which is exactly the same one as we get on apps, which is really, really cool. Now, what you can do is also head on to your settings and from here, go to notifications and you will find that web app on the list of the apps that you have. So here we have clever push in this case, and you can actually just go ahead and customize the notifications, set them up. You can even set them on the scheduled summary, just like you normally do with any other app. You can have all the options here for your web apps as well. Now with iOS 16.4, Apple is allowing third party browsers to add to home screen as well. Now here we have an app called a web browser called Orion. This is one that I have found that it's currently supporting this feature. And I will show you guys how you can add a bookmark from a third party app to your home screen. Now, most likely Google Chrome and Firefox and the Oprah and the, all the other ones will be updated pretty soon to support this feature because it's really, really important. But if you want to use this feature, this is how you do it. So on any web browser, all you have to do when you go to a website that you want to add to your home screen is just find the share button. In this case, we have it here. Once you tap on the share button, you go ahead and go to this list where you will find add to home screen. If you don't see it, go to edit actions and you will probably have it here and you can even add it to your favorites. Now, once you have found it, just tap on add to home screen. You can see it's basically the same as on Safari and there it goes. Now we have added this bookmark from a third party app to the home screen of our 16.4 device. And with iOS 16.4, Apple has made a change on the way you view the coverage of your devices. If you go to general here and you go to about, you can go to coverage and you will see your devices right here. And it actually says pair devices. So these actually don't need to be devices that are connected to your Apple ID. If you want to view the coverage of a device, maybe it's not even your device, maybe someone else, your friend or someone, you, they have a pair of AirPods, you can just pair them via Bluetooth to your device and they will show right here. So if I just go ahead and forget any of the devices from my Bluetooth menu, they will be removed from here. So with iOS 16.4, you can view the coverage for any device as long as you can pair them to your iPhone with the Bluetooth and you can see them right here on the list. As you know, with iOS 16.4, Apple has added the new voice isolation feature for phone calls, but this will also work if you have AirPods. So whenever you have your AirPods and you have them connected, you're making a phone call. What you need to do is head on to your control center, go here, 3D touch and choose voice isolation because you can now use voice isolation with AirPods as well and not just the phone. Of course, once you have it turned it on for the phone app, you will have that feature enabled. And even when you use AirPods, you will get amazing sound quality. With iOS 16.4, Apple has made a great update on the tips app as well. So on the tips app, head on to the bottom and you will see here user guides. Now it will show you user guides for all the devices that you have paired to your iPhone, not just the iPhone. So we have iPhone. Apple Watch and AirPods in this case. If I go here, I can get like guides for my devices. And if you tap on table contents right there, you can see everything that you need to know regarding your device. So you tap there, you can see all the different like articles and you can of course tap there to view anything you want. So all the details you need to know regarding any device you have and not just your iPhone, which is really, really great to have. On the music app on iOS 16.4, we got a lot of new features and changes. And one of them, which is really cool that you might not even notice, is that you can go to an artist while they're viewing a song maybe, or just an artist that you have on your library, you can go to that artist profile simply by tapping on its name just underneath the photo. Right there, that's actually a link and you can see that little arrow that will take you to that artist's page. We can find, of course, all the albums and all the top songs and everything else you need to know regarding that artist. And for the last one, we're turning back to the Shortcuts app and we have another really cool action for devices with an always on display. So 
tap right here to create a new shortcut and search for always on. So here we have set always on display and you can set it on or off or you can switch here to toggle which means that it will turn it on or off based, based on its current state. Now what you can do with this feature is actually create this shortcut right here and then head on to automations and you can actually choose to turn on the always on display at a certain point of time. I see many users don't actually like to have the always on display but if you want to have it just like at around bedtime when you go to your bed you leave your phone somewhere close to you you can take a look at the time without having to wake up the screen of your device well you can do that simply by going to time of the day and you can choose here a certain time of the day you want to run that shortcut which will actually enable the always on display on your device so i can set it to basically turn on at around like my bedtime right there tap on the next button and just go ahead and search here for that shortcut so tap on here you select run shortcut and of course choose the shortcut we just created and turn this off and this automation will turn on always on display at around bedtime every time so that is it for this video guys these are 10 new tips and tricks that you will be able to find on ios 16.4 that i believe every ios 16.4 user must know hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one